Gloria? Gloria? Is everything all right? Are you feeling okay? Yes, I mean, yeah, I, I am fine, so... When can we get started? I have full authority on behalf of my client for this acquisition. My client? This is just a number to them. A trifling detail. They're ready to offer more. Whatever you want. What I want? Miss Gloria, in the grand tapestry of the cosmos, money is but threads. Fraying, short-lived threads. If not money, then what? What currency could possibly outweigh this? Time, Miss Gloria. Time is the real currency. It is the measure of existence, the breath of the cosmos, the pulse of the ancients. Time? But time is... it's constant, isn't it? Ah, but that's where you are mistaken. Time ebbs and flows like the tides of a dark sea. Here, in this very room, we sit at the confluence of countless streams of time, some a mere trickle, others raging torrents and the trapezohedron. It is the key to these temporal waters. And my client? They wish to navigate these waters? Yes, they may wish to. But to navigate, one must understand the currents. Does your client understand the weight of time, the burdens it carries, the gifts it bestows? They understand the value of acquiring what they desire, of securing legacies. Legacies. A mere blink in the eye of eternity. But if they must embark on this quest, Tell them to be prepared. For time, once given, cannot be reclaimed, and the cost of wielding it is often irreversible. Miss Gloria, the void itself has offered you a mere glimpse of its boundless madness and chaos, a testament to its awareness of your pursuit. It has observed you, intently, as you beheld these visions without so much as a flinch, keeping your composure admirably intact. A remarkable feat indeed, yet one that does not go unnoticed or unappreciated by the powers that lie in wait. The Void has watched you since you dared to seek the trapezohedron. Your desire echoed in the unseen, a sinister whisper in the darkness. We have been waiting.
Deidrean seeks closure for your father's fate. Know this. He left no mark in the void, unworthy of its notice, as inconsequential as he was to your reality. Yet, your audacity in facing such madness, far from naive, intrigues the void. Your contempt, veiling deeper ambitions, is unlike anything it has observed in mortals. Now the void itself grows curious. What is it, truly, that you desire?